So, September Costco haul is here. Um, yeah, I'm going to put in a picture of what I saw at Costco today. So, check that out. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? Yeah, can you believe it? Anyway, um, it is September what 6th day before Labor Day. And it was pretty packed at Costco today. That was really dumb of me to go on a Sunday, the day before Labor Day. But, you know, there was still a lot of stuff. So some of the stuff that was missing, um, paper towels, romaine lettuce, ground beef gone, both fresh and frozen. Although I did find burgers. So over here. So I was surprised to even find burgers. Um, but they did have burgers, so that's good because that's what we're making for Labor Day. And avocado oil, gone. So this is all the other stuff that I got. Some new stuff, some old stuff. Um, I don't think I saw the Columbus turkey breast, but I got Kirkland uh, sandwiches. I'm going to separate these, put them in Ziplocs and freeze some of them because this won't all go in one shot. Turkey sandwiches for lunch. These were really cool. The Baby Bell. These are white cheddar. So not the Gouda, but the white cheddar. They were on sale. Um, like six something, I think. Kerry Gold is still $12.99. This time I went to Costco with Matthew. And he is a queso fan. So this was pretty interesting and new. White queso. Never saw that there before. So we're going to give that a try. Heavy whipping cream for Alfredo and various other things like homemade whipped cream, which is so, so good. I really should videotape that. I don't think I've ever videotaped that. Um, al uh, vodka is usually what I make heavy, uh, use heavy whipping cream with as well. So those two things. Sean loves the organic avocado mash. These are the single servings. Loves that as a snack with the tortilla chips. Got half and half for coffee. Pecorino. This time it wasn't missing. That was there. And then sharp cheddar. Matthew's requesting some mac and cheese very soon. This is still $5.99. Uh, the fresh mozz. Love this stuff. Ciabatta with some pesto and you put it in the toaster oven. I love to eat it with just some dry salami. Um, I like to just eat it plain. And of course, sliced up in salads. This is already pre-sliced. This was like $7.99, I think. You'll see it up above. Chocolate chips. Because Sean has mastered the chocolate chip. Oh, you know what? I can't say mastered. We've It's been hit and miss. But you know what? I think my oven is making a big issue about it. So, but he makes a good chocolate chip. So bought more chocolate chips. These were $8.99. I remember them being $9.99, but they were $8.99. That was probably Christmas time. Then we got some Hawaiian rolls. Um, it's funny. Uh, I'll insert a picture, which I'll insert a picture here. But So John went in the middle of the woods to help somebody smoke 480 pork butts for a fundraiser. Hmm. Yeah, so literally I think it was like 16 hours smoking pork butts for a fundraiser and they gave us one, so that was really nice of them. And so that will go really well with some Hawaiian rolls. So John told me to pick those up. And then, look, the organic tomato sauce is back by Kirkland. So excited. I think this was $7.99 for the dozen. Yay, they're back. I mean, as much as Contadina was nice, I like the organic. Got some sausages. It's been a long time since we've grilled up some sausages or made sausage, peppers, and onions. Those look really good. And then I got the chicken breast, $23.99 for 10 pounds. Yes, I know it's 15% solution, but with a family of five, four of us being adult males, I'd rather have, or I mean, I need more for the money. So I need the 21 chicken breasts that come in here as opposed to the 11 that comes in the 6.5 bag. Um, although it's cheaper and 8% solution, they're individually wrapped. I don't need that. Um, mozzarella cheese for pizza. I think these bags got smaller. 
I'm telling you, they're lighter, they're smaller. I think they're 2.5 pounds each now. I think they used to be three. They're still $11.99, I believe. Um, yeah, everything's getting so disappointing. They're giving you less, charging you just as much. Mango salsa, John requested it. He loves the mango salsa. I like the regular salsa, but I don't even eat that much salsa and chips. He's a salsa and chip fan. Then I bought this 339, the crushed tomatoes by Contadina. They did have the, the Cento Italian San Marzano. They also had the Nina. Um, and I know those make really good sauce, but I did notice, you know, obviously there's more water content and seeds. And when I used this one to make my sauce, I felt that it was more of a tomato flavor, um, a richer tomato flavor, because I guess you're getting more tomato because it's not a whole tomato with all the water and the seeds. So you're getting more tomato. I wish it was organic. I wish it was Italian tomatoes. Are they? No. So that's all I have to work with though. At least it's non-GMO, non-BPA. All right, anyway, lemon juice. So I've been making, I've been brewing Matthew some black tea and making iced tea. So just honey, lemon juice, and the black tea. And so we've been going through a lot of lemon juice and I also put it on ice, little splash of lemon juice with some stevia and I make my own lemonade. So, you know, it's really hot here in Tennessee. So that's really refreshing. And I bought this. This was $23.99, I think, or $24.99. And you got, I can't see it right now, 104, I think, pods are in here. I've been using this to tie tied with the OxyClean in it. Um, I like to put OxyClean, and so it's easier that they're both in one instead of buying two different products and then obviously spending more on two different products. So recently we've been using the Tide, and yeah, I like it. I haven't, I was using a lot of that non, you know, toxic, environmentally friendly and stuff, and um, but then again, using the OxyClean, so I guess spending more money. So I said, you know what, I use so many different non-toxic products and environmentally products that using one won't kill us. You know, I'm still researching and debating, but right now sometimes, you know, cost kind of trumps um, beliefs sometimes. So anyway, this isn't all. I actually have more bags that I have to unload, but this is the frozen stuff that I have to put away. But yeah, that's a quarter. <laughs> but I have more to go. Okay, so here is part two. Uh, like I've said before, we desperately, need, desperately needed food. I uh, haven't been to Costco for a while, and um, we were really down to the bare minimum. So this, which I've complained about before, they're back. I think it's been two years that I've seen the green peas at Costco years and so I was pretty shocked that green peas were there yet no romaine I don't know and then John loves the Cape Cod chicken salad that's still $9.99 and then chosen foods um, changed their packaging so I almost walked right by it but the classic avocado mayo this has become a family favorite, the white cheddar and kale pesto sauce, $11.99 for two jars. Um, we love it. Again, no avocado oil, um, but this was on sale, the extra virgin organic olive oil for like seven something, whereas the other one was eight something. Uh, so I just, I chose that one, same size, one liter. Canned chicken. We love to make chicken salad sandwiches for lunch. There was a buffalo chicken dip I used to make with that stuff too. So that was fun for um, Super Bowl. Uh, unsalted butter. We've been using this butter for baking items. Um, for when I do bake. 
and the items that I do bake that come out decent. This is the butter we use because Kerrygold, of course, is pricier. Um, mozzarella balls. Love these snacking cheeses. I love them with dry salami. Mm, really good with red roasted peppers. Delicious. Uh, then I got some tortellini. I noticed they had more types of fresh ravioli. Um, there was a sausage one by Rana. Um, so that section had gotten a little bit bigger at our Costco, but I like the cheese tortellini. Um, so we stuck with that one. Bananas for $1.29. We needed cashews. Don't remember how much that cost. This I got. Now this was pretty cool. So taco seasoning. I always buy my own ingredients for taco uh, spice blends from the savory spice shop, but um, it just gets out of the way sometimes and we really needed taco seasoning. But I wanted to show you the ingredients. So no fillers, clean label, dairy free. Himalayan pink sea salt, organic turbinado sugar, chili peppers, smoked paprika, black pepper, cumin, dehydrated garlic, onion, and tomato. So dehydrated garlic, onion, and tomato. I'm supposed to read that together. Chipotle powder, oregano, vegetable fiber to prevent caking. So there are a lot of organic ingredients in there, but not everything. So that's why it's not labeled as organic. But I was like, wow, that's pretty cool. Um ingredient list so I said you know what let me give that a try because we have no more taco spice blend and I don't feel like going to the savory spice shop just for that um and I don't need any of the other spices yet so that's why uh organic pasta last time I went to Costco we really enjoyed it so I got it again we needed some more bacon we like to get the fully cooked bacon um that's what I made a carbonara with and of course for breakfast or BLTs now that it's tomato season from the farm that's really good broccoli fresh broccoli fresh broccoli and then again like I said there was no romaine lettuce so I got this Boston lettuce it's like five dollars and 39 cents you get three of them I thought that was really cute over here uh, for the lunches, uh, this time we got chicken melts. The boys used to eat these a lot. Um, and so recently it's been more of the taquitos. Uh, but decided to shuffle up everything and get that for them. Uh, I don't think I've seen potato bread, Martin's potato bread, in Costco. So we got Martin's this time for sandwiches, uh, you know, peanut butter and jelly and stuff like that. This time we got that. Got some ciabattas that got crushed a little bit. Sorry, that's not ciabattas. Croissants that got a little crushed. Got some burger buns for the burger. Which got a little crushed as well. I mean, this was a huge haul. Uh, we get the Sara Lee sesame seed. You get 12. These are bigger, fit the burgers better. Ciabattas, I swear to God, they keep getting smaller and smaller. $5.99. Almond poppy seed muffins are still in the house. Nice. Sugar, organic sugar. I think this was $7.99, and this was like $4.39 for the brown sugar because we've been baking a lot of cookies. And, well, for the weekends. Got some kettle chips. I do have sour cream in my refrigerator, and I have onion seasoning mix, so that we'll probably put that out tomorrow um, to, you know, nosh on for Labor Day. And then here's my crack chips. Love the crack chips. Off the eaten path, made with um, rice, peas, and black beans. I call them crack chips because once I start eating them, and everyone else who has started eating them can't stop. So, crack chips. And then, last but not least, actually not last, the organic tortilla chips for guac, salsa, and now, queso. Like we're making pizza. We got Costco pizza. That's always dinner the day we go to Costco. So the non-food products. Uh, the two things you don't see here are the toilet paper and the napkins. We did need paper towels. Couldn't find them. 
um, those I put away. The Costco toilet paper is back. I think it was $16.99 compared to $23.99 for Charmin. And you get double the amount to apply. But these were on sale. Toothbrushes. It's good and healthy to change your toothbrushes every three months. So we needed new toothbrushes. Family of five. And then these Hydra flasks. These were pretty cool. Sean is back in school. And they did start online in August here, but then by the end of August, they were able to transition to in-house. Uh, but he doesn't have a water bottle with a good seal. Right now, he's been bringing a glass one in, which is not good or advisable. But this one has a nice spout. I don't know if you can see it. And a twist top, so he's able to throw it in his bag without anything leaking and use it as long as he twists it correctly. That's debatable. Um, and Allertech, uh, just like Zyrtec, you get 365 of them. So it lasts me for a full year. And these were on sale for $10.99. I think it was $10.99. You'll see the price up above. And then Chef Rob. So I love Chef Rob. I think uh, if everyone, anyone who's seen all my videos, Chef Rob, I made the pork chops with. He was or is a chef that did library programs in Long Island. And that really got me going on my cooking, cooking, what do you call it? Adventures. Um, and he mentioned um, the silicone baking mats, which take the place of parchment paper. So these were, I think, $14.97. You got four of them, two half sheet sizes, two full sheet sizes. So I don't have to spend money on parchment paper because I actually do need parchment paper. And these are, I believe, microwavable. Is it microwavable? They're obviously bake proof, oven safe, microwave safe, freezer safe. And you can put them in the washing machine. So it's a go, okay. Save money on parchment paper. So that's it. That's it for this massive Costco haul for September. I hope you enjoyed it and I will see you in the next video. Ciao and have a happy and safe Labor Day. Enjoy the rest and relaxation.